everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Bill Brinkman, who is a leading aortic valve surgeon at Baylor Scott & White, the Heart Hospital Plano in Plano, Texas. Dr. Brinkman, it is great to see you again and thanks for being with me at STS. Yes, sir. Yeah, so one thing, given we've known each other for 10 years plus, we always talk about is the Ross procedure. Yeah. I'm a patient, you are a superstar Ross procedure surgeon. And one of the questions, what I remember is, when you're going in for a Ross, my surgeon said to me, hey Adam, I'm gonna do my best to give you a Ross procedure, but there's a possibility that the pulmonary valve may not be best suited for the aortic position. I'm curious to know, when you're doing your Rosses all the time, is it often, seldom, rare that a pulmonary valve just won't fit or work in the aortic position? I would say it's seldom, but it, it happens. And we do a lot of testing beforehand, like a echocardiogram and a cardiac CTA to look at the size of the pulmonary valve and the aortic valve annulus. We also try to look at the leaflets. We look at how the pulmonary valve is working. But even with that, there's about a I would say in our series about a 10% chance when we look down at those leaflets, you might see some what we call fenestrations or holes in the leaflets that don't affect its function in a low pressure system like the pulmonary position, but if you moved it into the high pressure system, we worry that it wouldn't last long. And then in that situation we may bail on the uh, Ross procedure. So I'd say it's about 10% of the time. Got it, and this is really, it sounds like it is a game time decision, right? You are, yeah. literally, when you say I'm looking at it, you're, it's no longer about imaging, you are in the operating room, correct? Yeah, because these leaflets are very thin, and um, it's almost like a, a flag in the wind, and you need to really take a good close look at it. The best CT scans and the best echo still can't quite give us that resolution yet. Great. Well, Dr. Brinkman, as always, thanks for everything you and your team are doing at Baylor Scott & White, the Heart Hospital in Plano, Texas. Thanks again. Thank you. Hi, everybody. It's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.